Welcome tonight, everybody. Um, I wrote The Sex Lives of Vegetables several years ago, and it was prompted by baking a sweet potato. Uh, and when I pulled it out of the oven, uh, the potato's skin had broken, and you could see the inside of it, that lovely orange. And I thought, gee, you're kind of flashing at me, you sexy little devil. <laughs> and so I wrote a poem called The Sex Life of the Sweet Potato. And then I thought, you know, if I started thinking about other things that grow in the garden, I could probably come up with their sex lives too. So I just want to tell you that these are not imaginative or invented. I just sat around in the dark. At that time, it was my garden in Regina. And I looked at what they were all doing when we were in bed and sleeping. <laughs> Sex lives of vegetables, but I snuck in one fruit. And that is the watermelon. By the way, this is the world premiere of this series. <laughs> Watermelons. The watermelon is full of mouths and small black teeth sucked smooth as pebbles from a stream. It is waiting for you to rap on its door, waiting to give you a juicy hello smack right on the lips. A kiss so sweet, you'll keep coming back for more. <laughs> for the crunch between your teeth, the quick surprise of rain and fire they saved all season just for you. <laughs> <laughs> 